Hello everyone, I'm Gustavo Tolosa and welcome to this page. This page is called Dr. Starch page and it follows the starch solution. Thank you for joining me today and um, I want to give you, some of you know me, some of you don't. I started this page several years ago and um, while we wait for people to log in, I want to just make you aware of that some of the free webinars and, uh, and events that I hold that you may not be aware of and you can really benef benefit from them. One is tomorrow, Saturday, January 29th at 9 a.m. Central Time is a webinar with an expert on binge eating and she is um, an accredited psychotherapist from London and I will also be joined by Dr. Poneman, um, MD from Texas and this is going to be a very interesting webinar because this topic is not, not discussed very often and I think a lot of people struggle with binging. So when you uh, are watching this webinar later, you will see the link to the registration page. So that's tomorrow, uh, Saturday. On Sunday, because this was my birthday week, on Sunday I am doing an online concert, Sunday, January 30th at 3 p.m. Central Time. I am a doctor, but I'm a doctor in music. I'm a doctor in music, I'm a concert pianist, and I'm a college professor. And on Sunday, we're just going to have, it's going to be short, but it's going to be a fun time for you to join me in my living room and um, just enjoy some music. So I will also put the link here. You can register, it's free. And uh, we will be playing some um, audience favorites. I also wanted to know about an incredible opportunity. What would you say if you could have 40 of the experts, of the best experts, doctors, dietitians, chefs, um, psychologists in the world of whole food plant-based? Would you like to have them in basically in your living room. Well, there is the Truth About Weight Loss Summit and with 40 of the world's experts and um, if you register right now, you can also register for free and this is going to happen in about a week to 10 days. I really want to encourage you to take advantage of this because if you cannot watch all of them, you can later watch the replay. A wealth of information there. You may not know that every week I hold a book club online. You can join me every month. We choose a different book related to whole food plant-based nutrition and we read it together. We discuss it. I have guests. I have demos. Uh, next month we are reading uh, a book by Glenn Mercer and the book is called Food is Climate, a very, very intriguing book. It's going to be every Monday and again, you know, if you cannot watch live, don't worry. You can, the minute you register, then you um, will receive the, oops, you will receive the replay of all these um, book clubs. I actually did over there, there is the, the sign up for the book club if you're interested. I already did the Starch Solution book club. When you go to my YouTube channel, you can go to playlists and you will see all of the book clubs that I have done so far. You can watch it. That was a very good one among others. So make sure you go to my YouTube channel, you subscribe, you click on the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you get notified. This um, Facebook page is called Dr. Starch. My Instagram page is called Plantemus. 
and uh, that is P L um, P L A N T E M U S. That's there. And also, you may not have visited yet my website. The website also has a lot of very good information, and I am typing it here, Plantimus. That is because of plants, uh, since we follow a plant-based way of eating. And the MUS is for music, because I love to combine food and nutrition and music. If you go to the contact page, you can send a message and you will subscribe to my email list if you still, if you haven't, you probably are already. And then if you want to watch, if you want to check out my music website, it's my name, GustavoTolosa.com. So I just wanted to let you all know that as we wait for people to log in, there's a lot of information that I try to pass on to you. Most of it is free. I also hold a tea with Dr. T every Tuesday and to be part of the Gustavo uh, fan club you need to send an email to me at bornforhealth at gmail.com and that's B-O-R-N and the number four and then health okay just like health H-E-A-L-T-H all right so like I said earlier some of you may not know me I'm going to tell you a little bit about me uh, not to boast <laughs> at all because I'm not interested in that but so that you know uh, the, who is talking to you um, I do have a certified I am a certified starch solution coach and I'm certified by the McDougall Health and Medical Center and I did have the privilege and I still do uh, of working with Dr. McDougall himself for several years doing weekly webinars even up to today, we often do webinars together, although they're not every week. Um, and then I attended numerous in-person programs in Santa Rosa, uh, and I learned side by side with Dr. McDougall. I traveled on a McDougall adventure trip to Hawaii. I visited his home, and I continue to learn and enjoy the company of this master, Dr. McDougall. Um, I also attended and produced the online versions of numerous uh, whole food plant-based conferences all over the country and I just want to tell you this because I have absorbed so much information and I've heard it so many times that I'm a bridge I'm a bridge between you and the knowledge here and I hope that I will pass it on to you I um, have interviewed every major celebrity doctor in the world of whole food plant-based and I am a culinary coach. I love to cook and create my own recipes. I learn from the best from my dear friend Chef AJ and Shada Soleimani and Catherine Lawrence, Kathy Fisher. Um, I started my own show, it's called The Pianist and the Chef and also The Cooking Life with Gustavo. I am a doctor in music. I am not a medical doctor, so I will not give you any medical advice or change your prescription drugs or anything like that, but I will pass on the basic information of the start solution. I followed it. I continue to follow it. I lost 70 pounds. I was able to keep it off. And um, today, the plan is to talk about the very basics of the start solution and of course, in half an hour, I will not be able to get into much detail, but I promise I will do these types of webinars often so that you can also ask questions. If I don't know the answer to a question, I'm not going to fake the answer or give you an answer that is not right. I will find out. Uh, the answer and from the from a good source and I'll give you the answer so I see love your concerts book club and yummy recipes thank you Michelle thank you everybody for logging in today and um, I just want to get started if you are watching this on YouTube please look in the description area um, and you will find links and other important information uh, a very important note that I, uh, that I want to highlight here. To get the most out of this webinar, it is highly recommended that you read the actual book. 
The Start Solution by Dr. John McDougall. You can purchase that book on Dr. McDougall's website or in a bookstore, wherever you want. So, here we go. What is the Start Solution? The Start Solution is a way of eating that is sustainable and health promoting. And I want to stop for a few seconds here and dwell on these two words. Sustainable because there are many diets out there and there are many ways of losing weight. Are they sustainable? Well, if they were, everybody, including me many years ago when I tried every diet that was in existence, would be skinny and healthy. And the truth is that the world is suffering from illness and from overweight and obesity. So are these most of the diets out there sustainable? No, because they're not following the human diet. They're not sustainable. Um, you, cannot, you can make your body sick and you can lose weight, but that's not sustainable. So the starch solution is sustainable because it is foods that are common, that are handy, that are easy to get, and that are inexpensive to get. Following a whole food plant-based way of eating that is starch-centered is uh, very inexpensive. Is our health promoting? Well, again, there are many ways of eating out there, diets, many of them are fad diets, that are not health promoting, that will eventually, you may not get sick in a day or in a week or in a month, but if you follow them, eventually you will become ill because you will have some um, health issues because of imbalances. So the starch solution is sustainable. It means you can sustain it for the rest of your life and it is health promoting. You will become healthier. It is also a whole foods kind of way of eat diet and that is also a plant-based and is centered around starches or we could call them unrefined carbohydrates but a lot of people get crazy and nervous and afraid when they hear the word carbohydrate. But not all carbohydrates are the same. Refined carbohydrates are not healthy. We're not promoting that. But unrefined carbohydrates, yes. What else is the starch solution? The starch solution is simple. Don't try to complicate it. Uh, on Wednesday, we were doing a webinar with Dr. McDougall and joking a little bit, laughing uh, you know, about how we as human beings want to many times try to find all the little details and complications, but no, the star solution is simple. Let's not complicate it. My um, advice to you, if you haven't tried it, is to give it 10 days. 10 days out of our lives is what? Nothing. 10 days you can do, 10 days anybody can do, if you really want to change your health and your weight. So uh, we do hold a virtual 10-day program with Dr. Poneman every two to three months. And um, even though we cannot do it for free, it is extremely, extremely accessible. And we do offer an, a limited number of scholarships. If you go to our website, plantemis.com, you can go to contact and you can send us an email um, and um, we will let you know when the next 10 day virtual program will be. But you can try this at home, at home 10 days. One of the questions that people ask, perhaps, I don't know, because they haven't read the book or perhaps they read it and uh, it's been a while, and uh, is, what is a starch? Well, let's talk about this basic topic here. What is a starch? What is an unrefined carbohydrate? It is a potato, a sweet potato, corn, rice, white or brown or any color under the sun, 
really, so you will never get bored. <laughs> there are so many types of rice. Beans, again, hundreds, if not thousands, different types of beans. Peas, lentils, grains, um, all those are unrefined carbohydrates. You can also have whole wheat pasta and whole wheat bread. I know many um, people in the whole food plant-based world don't like to include these. In the starch solution, they are. Dr. McDougall allows you to have whole food, I mean whole wheat pasta, whole wheat bread. And uh, we can later talk about the details of this. But if you've never tried the starch solution, if you have a lot of weight to lose, you will need to focus on potatoes, sweet potatoes, corn, rice, beans, peas, lentils, grains. If you're allergic to rice, don't, no problem. There are so many other starches. You don't ever have to eat a grain of rice. If you're um, maybe allergic to beans, no problem. You don't have to eat a bean for the rest of your life. There are too many other types of starches that will provide the nutrition, the fiber, the water that you need to be healthy and lose weight. Uh, the uh, variety of potatoes, sweet potatoes alone is incredible. Different textures, different colors, different tastes, different aromas. Beans and rice are extremely varied. With the addition now, so those are the starches which should take about 70 to 80 percent of your plate as according to Dr. McDougall's book, The Start Solution. Now to add, we're going to, to that, we're going to add non-starchy vegetables and fruits, green vegetables, red, orange, yellow. Uh, these vegetables will add flavor, will add aroma, will add texture, color, different types of nutrition. And um, the word whole in the whole food plant-based way of eating means to eat food in as close as its original state as possible. So eat the apple, not the apple juice. Not the apple juice is unhealthy because that's when people start to get a little confused. It's not unhealthy. It's just that it is healthier to eat the whole fruit and like AJ says, and nothing but the fruit, okay? Because you're eating the fiber intact which and the water which uh, produce bulk and you get full and it also the the um, fiber acts as a detox detox uh, agent you um, it having fiber is very important and um, so eat the olive not olive oil which is a hundred percent fat and has no water and no fiber in it and most of the nutrients are gone and uh, eat basically the food in its original state and if you're going to process it do the least processing possible of course we cannot eat a raw potato but um, i can make mashed potato i can eat a baked potato and it's still in its original state what do you want to limit or eliminate entirely for the first, for these 10 days that I'm asking you to try. Well, you're going to eliminate oil of any kind. Don't even worry asking me about uh, corn oil, olive oil, um, coconut oil, all oil, uh, any oil. No oil for 10 days. Nuts and seeds, I would also for 10 days so that you can see the power of the starch solution. Not that you're not allowed to eat nuts and seeds, you are, but for the first 10 days, um, I would just leave them out so you can see what it is like. Avocados, for 10 days, I would leave them out. And, uh, and then chocolate, coffee, and of course, no animal products at all and dairy at all. Um, that's just for 10 days. After 10 days, if you want to add some nuts and seeds, some avocados, this all later we have to tweak it according to each person because none of us are the same. So for some of you that need to lose a little bit 
of weight, maybe uh, we, you will need to give up the nuts and seeds and, uh, or the avocados. But those are details that we do not need to worry about at the beginning. What are we looking for? What do I look for when I am going to eat anything? I look for water, fiber, starch, whole. Those are my four words. It needs to have water. Okay, so if I eat dehydrated apples, well, yeah, it has fiber, but it doesn't have water. So the caloric content just went off the roof. So it needs to have water. It needs to have fiber. And like if I, like I said earlier, if I eat, if I drink apple juice, well, it has water, but it doesn't have fiber. Okay, again, not that it's not healthy, but it, things like this can raise your glucose, your blood sugar, and we're trying to keep it as healthy and whole food as possible. So water, fiber, it needs to have starch. I need to have enough starch during the day, 70%, 80% starch. Later on, we can adjust things and we can go to 60 perhaps. And then whole, make sure that you recognize what you're eating. If it's to the point where you cannot recognize it because it's not it's in original state, then don't eat it. It needs to be as close to whole as possible. So what are my strategies? These are strategies that work for me and I'm going to share them with you. Some of them may work for you, some of them may not. And some of them I learned by them by just trial and error and then I heard people talk about them. So these are not things that I made up or invented at all. A wonderful doctors like Dr. McDougall, Dr. Esselstein, I mean, uh, Dr. Ornish, uh, Chef AJ, Chef um, Kathy Fisher. I mean, uh, so many people that I have interviewed and even worked with have said these things. So these are not my own. Perhaps I'm going to say them in my own words, but here they are. I'm going to give you 10 strat strategies for success. Number one is obvious and it is clean your environment. If your house is full of junk food, 99% uh, chance you will not succeed. So this is a biggie. You've got to clean your environment. This may be a challenging, a challenge. It's not impossible. It's nothing is impossible. We may need to find ways to make this happen, but you cannot for 10 days be, try to, to eat a whole food, plant-based diet, starch center, no oil, and, um, no, uh, and, 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 and have the house full of junk food. So clean the environment is number one. Number two, which I also follow uh, all the time, every day, is I eat when I'm hungry. And this is something that I, wasn't like this all the time. I used to eat when it, because at eight because in the morning because I was supposed to eat breakfast, but I really wasn't hungry. Or sometimes at noon I would eat because I was supposed to eat lunch, but I wasn't really hungry. Eat when your stomach is growling, when you're really hungry. If you're not hungry at nine, at eight, in the morning, at 10, don't eat it, it's okay. You eat when it's hungry. If you work, you take a little um, container so that you can eat your oatmeal or your baked potato with broccoli or whatever it is when you are hungry. So that's my number two. Number three is ask yourself, does it have water, fiber, and starch? Water, fiber, and starch. Water, fiber, and starch. Ask yourself that constantly during the day. Yes, you know, if you're going to have an apple, it's okay. It's not starch. It's all right. But in, in your main meals, does it have water, fiber, and starch? If you don't have starch, you will not be satisfied. You will be constantly hungry. You will be frustrated. And if you have junk food in the house or near the house, you will get it because it's impossible to succeed unless you have a starch in your diet. Number four, eat as many times as you need during the day um, until you're totally satisfied. You don't have to stuff yourself, 
but you need to be satisfied. Some people, again, this is different from ev for everyone. Some, some people eat three times a day, others eat five, others eat two, others eat seven. Eat as many times because you know now that you're eating a plant-based starch center way of eating that is low in fat. It's mostly 10-15% fat, even sometimes less. So you can eat as many times a day as you want to or need to. Number five is cook enough food. I see this all the time. People cooking this a little bit, this much for lunch. This, no, if you're going to cook, double, triple, quadruple your recipe, put it in the refrigerator, put it in the freezer. And uh, so that there's always good health promoting food in your house or in your car or at work if you have a little refrigerator always have food handy when you get hungry so cook enough food always have ready to eat food everywhere in the freezer in the counter in the car anywhere that you are around number six avoid eating out it's just for these 10 days i actually would like for you to not go out at all to eat Later on, if you're going out, I suggest that you pre-eat before you go to lunch with somebody or dinner or to a party. Eat a big baked potato or a big sweet potato with broccoli or corn or rice and beans. Make sure you go full so that then you can eat a salad, taking your own salad dressing, or you can uh, find something that is... Uh, um, healthy and that fits in the whole food plant-based world do not go out to eat or to a party or even to the supermarket hungry because it is it's a trap you are, you are setting up yourself to fail eat enough starch like i said earlier 70 to 80 percent of your plate or, or you will be hungry okay number eight choose your favorite foods and repeat like Chef AJ says, we don't need 10 different breakfasts and 10 different lunches and 10 different dinners. Um, most of us repeat the same thing over and over. Choose two or three and rotate them. Number nine, avoid drinking your food calories. Avoid drinking it, smoothies, juices. Not, again, they're not unhealthy. It's just that we want to try to stay for these 10 days as close to the whole food uh, way of eating. And lastly, 10 minutes, this is optional. Doctor, this is not part of the starch solution. Dr. McDougall um, doesn't, it's not uh, very uh, strong about uh, requiring this. And this is walk do some kind of moderate exercise but you may not be able to maybe for now you if, if you are uh, if you're struggling with obesity or, or overweight you may not be able to walk or do any exercise that's no problem i put it last because it's optional it is very good to exercise i do walk uh, two to three sometimes four miles a day but when i lost my 70 pounds i lost them all every single one without exercising not that i'm proud of that because i think exercise is good and um, it's just that choose something that is safe you don't want to end up uh, with a concussion or broken leg or something because you chose something that is um, not safe for yourself i think the safest thing is walking so that is pretty much the little master class I wanted to do today. And now I am um, opening for questions. If you want to type questions, I will answer. And um, let's see what time it is. Okay, that's, that's about right. Uh, please feel free to type questions. And uh, if there aren't any, we will stop here. Let's see. And uh, later on, you can type questions in the YouTube channel.
and let's see. I either did a really good job explaining or I bored you to death and <laughs> we'll see what it is. I will later read comments um, after this broadcast is over. I don't see any more, so um, I'll, I hope that I'm not missing any comments or questions, um, but I don't see any. So I will let you all go. Have a wonderful Friday. Uh, and uh, one of you is saying thank you so much. Uh, if you have not gotten the book, please, please, please get The Start Solution by Dr. John McDougall. Get the book, read it. I have read it numerous times because it's a masterpiece. Uh, get the paperback or get the uh, online version from uh, his website. And um, I will see you in another broadcast. I hope that you register for tomorrow's webinar or the Sunday concert or the book club or um, any of the webinars that I do. And if you have not uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. It does help me to continue to do these free webinars. And um, if you are, haven't followed my uh, Facebook page, Dr. Starch, please do. It also helps me. Goodbye, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.